This is a requested tutorial for drawing a line between two different tubes in three dimensions. Uh, so in this case I've got a little go-kart that I've been working on and uh, say I want to draw a diagonal tube from here to here like a brace. Uh, so it's a little more complicated to do in NX than some other programs. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, but one that works is to put a feature in the sketch for each of these two separate tubes. So in this case for this tube here which is the uh, sorry, sorry, escape. Uh, the roll bar here, uh, in the sketch for that feature I've put a point down here two inches down and then so you could uh, parametrically put this point wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide that tube just so I can see the sketch a little bit better and then in this tube down here which is actually a part that I've already named so that would be frame axle support left. I'm going to go into that. I'm going to make that the active part. I don't know. It's not letting me right now. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm still in the sketch. But. So anyway, I'm going to go into frame axle support left. And then uh, go into the features for that. Uh, I'm going to hide the tube and I put another sketch feature in there that there's going to be a line over here that is a uh, has a point on it that's eight inches down from here where I'm going to put the other end so uh, for the sketch features for both of those tubes I put a point in there where it'll be the end points of the tube that I want to draw so I'm going to back out of this and get back into my main assembly uh, and now to draw the tube that connects those points, I need to create a datum plane. I'm going to use those two lines, so I'm going to do an inferred for the type, and I'm going to pick, uh, first off, if you don't know, I need to make sure that I need to set, uh, I'm going to right click, I'm going to set the filter to the entire assembly, that'll let me pick both these sketches. So I'm going to pick the line for that tube, and the line for this tube, and it'll create a datum plane on those two lines. Uh, and I need to make sure the offset is zero so it's not offset up or down, above or below that plane. So now I've got a datum plane. I can create a sketch on that datum plane. Uh, and then I just need to draw a line from those two points. So I just need to now, uh, sorry, let me not draw the line. I need to project those curves first. So uh, I could probably snap to those if I wanted to, but I want to go ahead and project them. So I'm going to project that curve and I'm going to project that little 8 inch stub curve down here using select from list. I'm going to project those down to the plane and then now I can draw a line and I'm going to change my selection filter to within active sketch only so I'm not picking up any points I don't want to pick up and that will give me a line between those two points. I could extend the endpoints if I wanted to and then uh, trim the tube off if I wanted a nice, uh, if I wanted to actually model the intersection of this tube with the other one. Uh, so if I, I could add another half inch or something to either end to make sure that my tube was long enough so that it, uh, when I did the subtraction on it, there was enough material on there. Uh, I won't include that in this tutorial, but for now, uh, I will show how you draw the tube. I'm going to go up here to more, and then uh, one of the options is a tube. Uh, put in your outer diameter, your inner diameter, select your curve, hit OK, and then you've got a tube. So, uh, and then if I unhide my roll bar, oops, what did I do? I hid the whole sketch. Well, let me show the debt and then I need to go into my axle support and show that tube and then go back into the cart and I've got my diagonal tube there and you can see uh, up here I would need to when I drew the line in the the new sketch I need to extend that a little bit uh, then I could do a subtraction operation and if I wanted to model the actual notch on it, but in this case I don't, I'm just, just trying to sketch it in there. So uh, that's one way of doing it. I'm sure there's lots of other ways, but uh, that's one that, uh, that I use whenever I need to. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks.